today was the turn of Airbus Helicopter CEO Guillaume Ferry to address the press here at Heli Expo. We called with him after the press conference and asked him how current market conditions are affecting the company in 2016. Uh, it's not changing the way we are working with uh, our customers. Uh, we are fully dedicated and, and supporting them, especially in the difficult times. So this is, uh, this is the case with the oil and gas industry, obviously, not only with the oil and gas. Uh, so we keep moving forward with improving the product, working on safety, working on competitiveness, working on the services to be able to have uh, customers moving forward through the crisis with our products. Uh, in an efficient manner. The challenge for the H175 moving forward will be to introduce the, uh, the new uh, variants of the product, uh, the VIP variant in 2016 and the public services one in 2017. We'll be delivering uh, search and rescue helicopters in 17. Uh, so that's uh, one of the challenges we have on the 175. Uh, we have the H225M um, in competition in a number of tenders around the world. Uh, this is what we call the Caracal. Uh, so this is um, the military variant of the 225 which is used for a diversity of missions. We have as well the search uh, and rescue capability in India where the uh, 225 has been uh, done selected. So there are a number of opportunities for this product. And we are very happy to be on two legs, uh, the commercial one and the military one, especially in this uh, very moment where the uh, oil and gas market is so weak. In Poland, as you know, there's been a change of government uh, end of last year. So uh, in this change of government, uh, the uh, negotiations for the offset have been suspended for six weeks and then have resumed in the meantime. So we are now uh, continuing the negotiation for the uh, offset package of the uh, uh, Caracal in Poland. And we expect a contract this year.